Okay, Timothy, I've got your work up, and let's go ahead and start taking a look at things. Okay, so I, the first thing I want to mention is is your background pages. Um, this is really super distracting. This this gradient here, I would not recommend using a gradient as a background. Um, the section header is okay, but it's it's taking up too much space. It's it's taking up much most of your real estate on the page size. So. If you just say, you know, you can just say section four corporate identity, you don't have to include portfolio on every one of your pages. I mean, that's pretty much a given. So if you just take that out, move that up and just use a little bit more. Now we're going to kill, still be working on your page dimensions. I'm just looking at, at, at this and I'm thinking, okay, so right now you've got almost a third of your page dedicated to your heading. And well, I think it should be the other way around. I think you should be dedicating the, the uh, lion's share of your page to your work. So, and then, so we have corporate identity. I've got a couple of suggestions here. This page right here, as a professional logo, as a professional a portfolio reviewer, I would open this page and I would say, okay, no hierarchy. What do you want me to look at? Um, what are you featuring on this page? Presumably it's the logo, right? So if you're presu if you're featuring the logo, show the logo. Forget all this stuff. What is all this stuff? Is this all like iterations of the logo? I noticed that that I think is the final logo, but we don't need all of these. If these are all just versions of the logo, you definitely, this is not a process book right here. This is your, your corporate identity. So you want to show the logo. All right. Just show the logo. Then start showing the logo in, 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 act in uh, placement shots. Let me show you some of some things I'm seeing here. Okay. Right now you're saying corporate identity collateral, right? But corporate identity, as we know, corporate identity involves being showing the, the logo and really developing a solid consistency for the logo. That's what branding's all about. On this page, you're showing one, two, three, four, five different, six different versions of the logo. That's not consistency. Once you set that logo, that's your company logo. You use it and that's it, okay? No changing around, no changing colors, no changing layout and orientation. Okay, for example, here you have the type up top Arizona Ditech in green, restoration since in 1980 in uh, green on the background. All right, over here, you've got a blue background, you've got red type and yellow um, subtype. All right, then over here, you've got a completely different version. I get compact logo. I don't. I don't know what a content packed logo means. I mean, you should be using your logo. It's your logo. You shouldn't be using it. You shouldn't be using different variations. Okay. And then over here, this is yet another version of the logo. And then here, yes, is again another version of the logo. So really be careful in 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 setting up consistency in your branding. Okay. Um, the business card presumably. Okay, that's the business card. A letterhead and envelope. Okay, I don't see. Let me just do something real quick. Okay, there's your contact information. All right. Okay, so so those are my comments there. I, I'd like you to think about that for those two pages. Um, for a publication design. These aren't publication designs. These are individual pieces. Let me show you what we're looking for for publication design and this might make some sense but publication design is where the heck did i put that oh shoot sorry i have got to open another um where is oh here it is publication design it's an annual report or other multi-page editorial design Okay, a publication design. So it's either multi-page, it's got to have a cover, a table of contents, and at least one spread. Okay, so, but you're not showing that in your work. You're just showing, where the heck did the work go? Um, here, you're just showing, okay, you're just showing a cover, a cover, and then an interior spread for, for a different, um, publication. Okay. So what you would want to do here is show the cover, then show a table of contents and an interior spread. Let's use this for example. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whoa, sorry about that. Okay. So let's use the cover for example. 
you would use this cover, then you would show the table of contents for this magazine, then you would show the interior spread for this story, which is Frank Lloyd Wright. Okay, it makes sense. And then again, with all these gradients in the background, they're just so distracting to your work. I, I, I hope you can see that now. Excuse me. Okay, and then, um, so once you get your publication design down, I can start critiquing, okay? So I would, I don't want to critique these right now because you might not be end up, end up using them. So let's wait till, oh, wait a second. Oh yeah, portfolio, uh, web, web, web and digital media. I'll get that one second. But anyways, so once you decide what your final, uh, por uh, publication design piece will be, we'll go ahead and resubmit that and I'll make comments on that. Portfolio looks fantastic. Um, just wondering a couple of things here. Um, okay, so you have, okay, okay, I, I'm not real sure what these are down here, um, and then I'm not really even sure which, okay, there's your home page, there's your gallery page, I see what you're doing, okay, still don't know what those are, home page, gallery page, and then what are these pages? I, I, I don't know what these pages are. So they're, they're, oh, I see smartphone. I got it. Okay. All right. So that's awesome. Good job. Yeah. Good job showing, um, um, showing your, your website. So what you want to do though is forget the smartphone. Well, not forget it, but put it aside for now. Show three pages deep on your, uh, on your uh, desktop version. Okay. So you've got two here, show another one, and then go ahead and go into your um, smartphone and show, show show your pages there. Okay. Um, I, I just, I, if the, I, the, you have this set of links and this set of links. That's really super confusing. Um, I, if these are social media, I would just use the little, use the little logo. Okay, so use the Twitter logo, the LinkedIn logo, et cetera. Okay, this uh, package design, I think this looks great, but the only thing is, is this isn't, I don't, I'm, I'm not quite figuring out how this is your die line for your six pack. Um, I see that you've got the side panels. You've got this side panel, but I don't see this, the graphics on this. I, I'm not seeing this as a six pack die line. I'm just not seeing how this folds into this. Um, and it, it, if it's not the die line for this six pack, do not use it. Okay. It's really critical. You don't try to slip something in that somebody's going to recognize. Like I immediately saw this and said, well, wait a second. Where are the graphics? Where's the holder part? You know, this is clearly not the graphics for a six pack die line. Let me show you what a die line for a six pack looks like. Looks like that. So you can see you've got the folded, you got the sides, you got the little cutout for the, did you see what I'm saying? There's more. There's, here's another one. There's other, other, um, little iterations. And all I did is I just came in here. Here's a six pack die line right there. Or that's actually a box template. That is not a six pack die line. I take that back. There's one right there. So, I mean, there's, you know, there's there's different ways to show your work and presumably you're going to pick a die line and really adhere your graphics to that because right now I'm just not seeing how this folds into this and how these graphics turn into this side panel okay so yeah just let me know what's going on there okay and um let me see so we have Package design, digital graphics design, publication, web, and corp. So you're good. You've got all your representative pieces. Just start working on what I described and, um, you know, start working on your page layout and, and the actual, uh, composition of the page itself as well as consistency. And try, really try. One thing I'm really noticing is your pages are really cluttered. You're not allowing any white space at all. So you're, you're, you're just giving the viewer, there's, but technically speaking, their your pages are super lacking in hierarchy, um, and and I'm and I can say that from your for your examples as well as your layout. Okay, examples for example, for example, here you, there's just no place that you're showing that you want the viewer to look first, 
everything is an equal position of hierarchy. Do you see what I'm saying? So, you know, one of the ways that you, you can use this is use a grid. And another way you can develop hierarchy is by scale. But I'm seeing that a lot, quite a bit. It's in all of your pages. You, you just don't really haven't decided where you want your design, your viewer to look first, second, and third. Okay, and then move on to the next page. Here, everything's presented. It's like, look at me, look at me. No, look at me. No, look at me. No, I'm over here. Look at me. Hey, what about me? Look at me. Look at me. You see what I'm saying? Everything's fighting for attention as opposed to being, um, you know, carefully distributed to each page. Hope that makes sense. Remember, you, you, you know, you, you can use, there's no paper minimum here. I mean, you can use as many pages as you want. We'll start narrowing it down, but really want you to start working on presentation. All right, any questions, comments, or if I can make anything any more clear, please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, thanks very much.